Hey guys, Tim here, uh, long time no see. Been super busy with stuff on the house and then also super not busy. Uh, staying inside for the winter when it was cold, I just did not feel like being in the shop at all. Although I did uh, fix up an old Civic, but no video on that, just kinda did that on my own. Uh, I can walk you through that in another video. Anyway, that's not what you're here for. If you're here for anything, it's for the Audi. Finally got the engine back together. I uh, did a bunch of seals on it. Did not end up pulling the heads. It was just too much. And honestly, stuff wanted to strip and I just, it's not worth it. It's got 330,000 miles on it. If we can just get a couple seals done and if it'll run, I think it's low on compression. Uh, we'll see how it goes, but back in there. Okay, so engine's back in. That was fun when it was all muddy and no concrete in here, uh, but it's back in. Uh, spent uh, a couple hours doing all the wiring figuring out where all the wires go that was i was thankful to have a lot of photos for that this is a little messy right now i just want to do it just to get it hooked up got the airbags back on uh figured out a couple vacuum lines these vacuum lines were sealed off so i don't know what they're for but i might do some research if it all works i'll do some research and see what's missing or if they're just plugged off i i, just, I don't think this is from the factory like that uh i fixed some wiring harnesses uh where were we Oh yeah, okay, so the fan harnesses were busted, so I soldered them up and put on a four pin connector over here as well. Soldered a heat shrink, I just put tape on for extra strength and then uh, fix that up. Uh, think about everything up, the trans is not currently bolted in. I'm gonna wait to see if I can just crank it uh, before I do anything. Coolant's not up, we're obviously we're not gonna run the engine. Some trans fluid might leak out, so I'm gonna go get a bucket for that. Just want to see if we can crank it. I put six quarts. I know it needs 5.8, but I put six quarts of the world's finest budget oil uh, in here. Again, just want to see if it starts. Don't want to put money into it until it actually works. So I should have done this a long time ago, but I had no idea about it. Um, but I put fogging oil down the cylinders the other day, uh, pulled the spark plugs, put them in there. Hopefully that'll help a little bit when we crank. We're going to crank without the, um, we'll crank with compression with the plugs in, but I'm going to disconnect them from, uh, is this a distributor? I don't know what you call this. I guess this is a distributor. Um, correct me in the comments. So we'll crank with it off a little bit just to try and get some of that oil, get those cylinders moving. They were moving fine anyway. I'm not, honestly, it wasn't super high compression, so I'm not super worried. So the goal right now is to just get it to crank and <laughs> fingers crossed on that one. Battery wasn't that old. Uh, sorry, I got soldering stuff out from last night, but the battery wasn't that old. And so I just hooked it up to this charger. It's holding the charge. I reconditioned it. We'll see if it sticks once we're in there, but I think what we'll use, I think what I'll use for the test crank is just this uh, jump pack. I got a bucket in case the trans spins and pumps any fluid out. We're gonna do the, if all this works, we get it back together, I will do a trans fluid uh, flush and filter change. So I'm just gonna pull these now. These are brand new wires. I uh, got them off FCP Euro, I think. There's not much fuel in here. I tried to siphon some out, uh, so we'll see, but let's just see if we can get it a crank and then I'll worry about throwing fuel in there. It's a little dark in here, hopefully we can, you can see. Let's try not to. Get a huge fire going here. All right, got voltage. Uh, Pack says 11.5. Well, I doubt you could hear me, but no lights came on the dash. There was a, a bulb warning, um, battery light. The fuel pump seems to go when I crank it, but nothing else goes. So I just wonder if it doesn't think it's in park. The shifter shows up and then it shows P, so I feel like it thinks it's in park. 
I'm gonna try swapping out the other battery pack to see if it's maybe it's just a voltage thing. It doesn't want to crank. But I got a good sign. I smelled fuel and the fuel rail was dripping a little bit. So I closed that off. I tried the other battery pack, but I kept saying short. So I don't know if that was, it wasn't, I don't know what the deal with that is. Um, Cause the other one worked fine. Um, I'm gonna check maybe even, maybe the starter is not hooked up right. So I'm gonna check the starter. I bit the bullet and got it jacked up and got part of the transmission hooked up. Uh, bad news when I was putting it back in, one of the mounts failed. We'll figure that out later. But I did get it to just try and start. I don't think it's enough voltage. I just vaulted, I hooked up the trans, so it sees this in park. Um, I charged the jump pack and put it on and it clicks like it's trying to start but doesn't go all the way. So I'm assuming it's not enough voltage. So I'm gonna actually hook up the old battery and the jump pack and see what happens. It just cranked. I'm gonna try it again real quick. This time you guys can watch. Caught all that on video. Well, I got a little anxious there. Looks like we have an injector on number three leaking fuel. Wow. <coughs> cannot breathe in here. All right, now there's a little more air in here, so let's take a look at this. All right, so we got the in this injector right here. Leaking fuel, thankfully we got the fire out quick. Didn't melt any lines, I don't think. Yeah, this guy's leaking pretty bad right there. I'm glad I had, glad I had that extinguisher there and I had another one over there. Whew. Last thing I was expecting was a fire. All right, so it is this injector. So we gotta figure that out. So as I'm cleaning up, <laughs> I had the realization that there was a bunch of solvent on the floor too, so that that didn't help. This is that Civic I was talking about. It's a 97 Civic. Uh, I bought it to flip, um, and then I got that other one in the back for a parts car. Uh, but it's been great. So this one's got almost 300,000 miles, 290 something, and uh, drives great. It's got some rust and some dings, but it's not too bad on the inside. Five speed been great for just driving around town though and getting stuff done and saving gas money so with that i'm gonna chill out for today <laughs> i'm gonna clean up and get some things sorted and get the battery disconnected uh if you want to see more hopefully we'll have some more and we won't burn the place down so as always thanks for watching please like favorite, subscribe all that good stuff and uh for, it's been so long i forget what to do and god bless you and uh, i'll see you in the next one